What I'd like to show you now is how to use a feature of the software called Dynamic Focus. Uh, what this does is it takes multiple images with the waist of the light sheet at different positions uh, in such a way that you optimize the Z resolution across the entire sample. So that is equivalent uh, to doing the following. If this were the sample, you can place the horizontal focus here, take an image, then in the middle, take an image, then on the other side, take an image. And then by blending these together, we can get images where the Z resolution is good throughout because we take a piece from this image, a piece from this image, a piece from this image, and then blend them all together. So that's the idea. So how do we do this in practice? Um, so first we need to decide on sort of what sheet NA we want. And so let's say we really want the highest possible resolution. So we're going to do something like this. Um, then what we would like, let me just adjust the here, is to take an image with this here, with this here, with this here, with this here, all the way to the other side. So how do we do that? So the way we do that is as follows. We go here to this section and we click on this button, excuse me, on this button to turn the dynamic focus on. So it says the exposure time is going to adjust itself in continuous mode. You want to continue. You say yes. So the thing is, when you use this mode, the exposure has to be tweaked because it can only be certain particular uh, values. And so uh, you can sort of set it to whatever you want, and then the software uh, will find the closest value that allows this to take place. Uh, next, we need to mark the edges. So we need to say where we want to start the, the dynamic focus and where we want to end it. And then we need to say how many steps we want. And so the recommended number is uh, usually not a bad idea. You can see that's going to take 28 steps. So that's going to take a very long time. Um, so this is a very sort of time intensive approach uh, and there's no way of getting around that. But let's see uh, what this gives us. Normally, uh, it won't show us the result of that. But if we click here, use dynamic focus for grabbing, it will actually do all the horizontal focusing and then show us a result of the image. So we should see this update to a higher quality image, which there it is. So let's see. So that is sort of a higher quality image throughout uh, the field of view than just taking oh, um, let me turn this off, than just taking uh, an image without this dynamic focus where you can see this is much blurrier. There are uh, examples of this uh, in um, uh, my, my guide. Uh, once you've set this up, there's no need uh, to modify anything here. You don't need to tell it with anything here to do it. Um, so if you just wanted to do a Z stack, for example, just by having this engaged, that's it. You're sort of set to go. Uh, there, whether this number of steps is optimal or not, uh, you know, it's the recommended number. Whether you can get away with less, that's the kind of thing that you need uh, to do a lot of, of testing to figure out. Um, if you're really pushing things, if you go to advanced and you scroll down, uh, there are different uh, horizontal focus processing algorithms. Uh, unfortunately, none of them are particularly well explained uh, by LaVision, um, but you can, you can try them on your data set and see if any gives you better results. You can also, if you go here to auto save settings, uh, go to advanced settings, and save the raw data if available. In that case, what it'll do is it'll save 28 images for each Z plane, which then you can run your own algorithm on to um, uh, you know, improve things, and then you'll have full control of what you're doing. That said, you, you, know, you will be increasing the amount of data you're acquiring by an order of magnitude. So um, you know, if a typical data set is you know, on the order of 10, you know, sort of 10 to uh, you know, 40 or 30 gigabytes, uh, it'll be 100 to 300 gigabytes. So just keep that in mind. Um, but you, you really have a lot of flexibility as far as what to do.